the race is on to get humans into space from U.S. soil, something that hasn't happened since the space shuttle program ended. Both Boeing and SpaceX are leading the charge, and Morgan Brennan got a closer look at Boeing's operations at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Meet Starliner, a Boeing spacecraft that's been years in the making. If all goes according to plan, before the year is out, it will carry astronauts to space. It would mark a major milestone. The U.S. lost the ability to launch astronauts from U.S. soil when the space shuttle program ended seven years ago. Liftoff of the Soyuz rocket. Instead, we've been relying on the Russians to do it for us. President Trump has talked about going to the moon and Mars. It marks an important step in returning American astronauts to the moon. But the new space race really starts here, with NASA's commercial crew program. Every other NASA human spaceflight program has been cost plus, and the responsibility of the contractor was to deliver the transportation platform to NASA for their use. On commercial crew, it's more of a rental car model, where we retain the asset and they take it just for their use in that particular mission. John Mulholland would know, since Starliner's program manager used to work on the shuttle. Starliner is one of two spacecraft, the other is SpaceX's Dragon capsule, being produced for manned missions to the International Space Station. Boeing is building three, all of which will soon be leaving the factory ahead of major tests. The crew module will be able to fit seven people and reflown up to ten times. The first manned flight is scheduled for November from Kennedy Space Center. Astronauts are already doing evacuation drills. Yes. On the lines above us? Yeah, it's really exciting. We have the emergency escape system installed. We've actually checked it out with the astronauts in full spacesuits, um, ready to, to uh, support any operation that's occurring up on the tower. United Launch Alliance, the rocket company jointly owned by Boeing and Lockheed Martin, will handle the launches. Here, 17 stories up on the launch pad, this is the White Room, quite literally the last stop on Earth for astronauts before they enter Boeing Starliner and head to space. Boeing's contract with NASA is a little more than $4 billion, but it's what comes after that could generate the biggest business. Commercial aviation was government-sponsored foundation to meet their strategic need. It slowly evolved into a commercial market, but only for high-wealth individuals. And now we're at the point in the market where we have a 737 take off and land about every two seconds. And we can see the growth in the commercial spaceflight market um, paralleling that. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Morgan Brennan at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida.